minus five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Vehicles pitching downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionic is the power, telemetry sound of nominal. Thirty-three Raptor engines. Max Q. Through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle is going to see on the way uphill. All right, our next our next major milestone coming up. It's going to be hot staging. We're going to see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead, cut off. Of, main, instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. Right now, the tower team is doing their go, no go. We might hear some really good words soon, too. All right. You can still see it up behind me. That is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. We're coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's startup. There's most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster. Stage separation. separation. Hot stage confer separation confirmed. ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. Hopefully I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm going to send it to you guys in Hawthorne. Oh man, that was absolutely <laughs> incredible. I loved how the crowd ship chamber pressure is nominal. The crowd here in Hawthorne all went ooh at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there, first stage currently performing, or excuse me, is uh, now making its way Back to uh, the launch site again. We are ship avionics power and launch nominal. Uh, the booster and the tower are both performing automated checks to make sure we are go for the booster to return to the launch pad for that catch. And once those are complete, the flight director. Booster boost back for shutdown. Flight director is go for booster return. We did hear that the tower is go for catch, so that was one of the big criteria we were looking for. This view we'll here. wait to hear that the we'll wait to hear that the go for catch has been sent. Beautiful view here from the <laughs> ship. And so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's going to be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land um, in order to make that catch attempt in the tower. <laughs> so incredible to see these views. You can see the ship on the right hand side of your screen. All six Raptor engines are uh, under full power. Once again, the, the ship, excuse me, the booster is making its way back to 
the launch site, we are going to try and catch it using the chopsticks on the launch tower, the exact same tower that it just launched from just, wow, five minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, and the booster. Starship on nominal hey guys, trajectory. I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking up right now. <laughs> it's it's pretty much right overhead of us, and we can see it starting to come down. I can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through Dan's mic. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. It was so cool to hear the lift off. Uh, and so once again, um, a successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. And in order to... Hey guys, we should just be at about 30 seconds away from our landing burn. It's going to happen in three phases. We're going to land 13 engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. We're going to ignite 13 of those Raptor engines, and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand side of the screen. Landing burn has been ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. I'm, I'm sorry, like, <laughs> even in this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. That oh, wow. Damn, wow. your view must have been insane. <laughs> we are still going wild over here over this. Folks, this is a day for the engineering history books. Oh, this is not, <laughs> yeah, I let's, mean, let's it's, check in on ship. it's hard to believe that. Starship nominal orbit insertion. All right, exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, you know, booster isn't the only excitement that we have today. Just confirmation there. A gorgeous view of planet Earth behind uh, ship, the yes, ship. Safe. And start to see that plasma now starting to build up on the side. It's not quite full plasma yet, um, but we are starting to see that color indicate uh, that the heat is building up on the heat shield. Yeah, this is such a cool sight to see because you really never really have gotten to see this live before, uh, before flight. Uh, before flight four. Before, yeah. <laughs> um, and as Kate mentioned, it's getting uh, a little more red, as you can see there on your screen. That means that heat is building up. But that's exactly what these heat shield tiles are there for, is to protect against this plasma and this really, really extreme heat that the vehicle is going to see for the, about the next uh, 10, 10 more minutes or so. Two kilometers away. Starship is on target, approaching landing burn startup. So keep an eye on the bottom right hand side of your screen as well. That will be the indicator when the Raptor engines ignite, if we are unable to see that illumination ourselves. Landing bird startup. of that landing burn. You can see the water just behind the ship. The starship is landed. An incredible view. I think it is safe to say we have a ship in the water. <laughs> Touchdown! That wow. is a lot of <laughs> A live view from a buoy that we had out at the landing zone. 
an incredible view of ship landing just about on target as they were calling out. That was amazing. <laughs> and we did we were not intending to recover any of the ship's hardware, so that was the, the best ending that we could have hoped for. <laughs> Man, I I don't think we're gonna be able to get a, a ton of extra video of the heat shield, but we hit the target. We hit the target. Yeah. I mean, you know we hit the target because we had these buoys placed in a pretty specific spot, so wow. Um, <laughs> 